Around Queenstown, they think grass is something you smoke. Thanks to a century of mining, the hills and even the footy ground are silica gravel, with ne'er a blade of the soft green stuff. Grass is no good, they can't play in grass. Why? You want to go it's to too slippery. Only sissy spoke like that. Bloody titty, play on that. Only poopers. Leanne Edelston, she isn't. But Milda Lockett has been watching footy since she cut teeth. And she lost them 60 years ago. <laughs> we went on and we were proud of it. We were proud of it. <laughs> Here in the wettest and coldest part of the wettest and coldest state of Australia, a day at the football is both cold and wet. And if it takes a rare type of footballer to play out there, it takes an even more special person to watch it. <laughs> Is this wet and cold? No, it's not cold. It's usually oh, cold. God. It's usually this cold. Is it's we've it's said in the snow. It's in the snow. It's snow. It's snow. It's snow. It's snow. It's snow. Why? We want snow, don't you? Oh, That's how you do it, Chuck. When you love football, you sit out in all kinds of weather, don't you? Yeah. You don't go inside. <laughs> you can't see you in the motor car. Still, there's a softy in every crowd. And there's a kid smart enough to jump the fence when the law isn't looking. But even if the umpy is looking, no rule book will stop these blokes from enjoying their friendly little game and the supporters from offering a little polite encouragement. Oh, the various, they get a bit victrolic at times and... Uh, a bit vitriolic, you reckon? Oh, yes, some of them get warned off the ground. They so, used yeah. to fight like that in your day? Oh, yes, just the same. In Rocky Wed's day, they wore calico shorts and dodged tree stumps. Seven times Rocky's old smeller was rearranged. Doesn't it worry you, frighten you when you see all these blokes fighting? Oh, no, no, you got to put up with that. It's worse than the pubs down the town at times. <laughs> you got to, you got to be a hard case that you know to be a footballer in a sport on the west coast, Tasmania. It's a mining town, you know. What's the secret to playing on the gravel, Rocky? Well, the secret is that you learn to fall properly. You don't skid, you roll. Today's final count is a couple of busted noses, a sprain or two, a dozen scun knees, and the odd hangover. But one bloke's had enough of football the West Coast way. Umpire Gilbert Brearley. It's your last game, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Definitely. <laughs> How do you feel about it? Good. Good it's over. <laughs> Why are you giving it away? The abuse. Take a look for yourself. <laughs> the threats. Is it always like this? Yeah, most of the time, every, every week, the same. Milda categorically denies that she's the culprit, abusing the umpy. She says she merely offers polite encouragement to the players. And what sort of encouragement do you yell to the players? No, a lot of bullshit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You'd like to know what we say, but we better not say it. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Milda, she'd make a good back woman, wore her dress two inches above the ankles in the main street of Queen.